All right, here we go with a video on midpoints on a coordinate plane. So a midpoint is a point that is halfway between two points. And what it does is it cuts a segment in half. Now, for a coordinate plane, there's a couple of different ways to find the midpoint of two points. I will show you both ways. Um, easiest way is probably just to use the formula, which I have given. The formula is taking the average of the x's and the average of the y's, and you have the new coordinate. But you can also do this graphically if you prefer, if you have a graph, of course. So, algebraically, you just substitute your x's and y's into the formula. It doesn't matter which point you choose to be 1 or 2. So I'm just going to go alphabetically and say that point A is x1, y1, and point B is x2, y2. So from here, all you're going to do is use the formula. So you substitute your x's in. So you have 3 plus 7 over 2, comma. Now substitute in your y's, negative 6 plus 8 over 2, and just figure it out. 3 plus 7 is 10, divided by 2 is 5, comma. Negative 6 plus 8 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. And you're done. Now, if you didn't want to use the formula to do this and you actually had these coordinates graphed out on a coordinate plane, we would have our 3, negative 6, and we would have our 7, 8. And what you would need to do is actually count how you get from one point to the other point and then do half of that. So if I wanted to go from negative 6 all the way up to 8, I would have to go up. 14 places. And then if I wanted to go from 3 over to 7, I would have to go to the right 4 places. So then all I'm going to do is half of that to find the midpoint. So now I'm just going to go up 7 and right 2. And as you can see, there's my midpoint, 5, 1. Okay? So for number 2, I would like you to try it using any method you'd like. And pause the video. As soon as you're done, press play, and we'll see if you got the correct answer. Give it a shot. Okay, so either method you use, you should have been able to come up with the answer. Negative 9 plus 2 over 2 would give you a negative 3.5. And we have a negative 2 plus 4 is 2, over 2 is 1. So you should have negative 3.5 comma 1 for your answer. Okay? And if you did that graphically and got the same answer, then you are good to go. Um, so that covers how to find the midpoint when given two endpoints. This next example is going to teach you how to find an endpoint when given one endpoint and the midpoint. Okay? Now there's three different ways you can do this. I'll show you all three for number three. And then you can go ahead and try number four any way you'd like. Let's see if you come up with the correct answer. First way is the algebraic way. This is the way that's going to take the longest, but I'm going to show it. Uh, the formula, as we know, is x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2. So we're looking for b, which is your other endpoint, which would be x1 or x2, y2. So all we have to do is use the formula. So we would have 4 plus x2 over 2, comma, 2 plus y2 over 2. And that would give us our midpoint, 6, negative 1. So just set up the equation parts, 4 plus x over 2 is equal to 6, and 2 plus y over 2 is equal to a negative 1, and just solve both of those equations. So you need to get rid of the 2 in the denominator first, so multiply both sides by 2, and you'll have 4 plus x is equal to 12. Subtract 4 from both sides, and you have x equals 8. So b is going to be 8, comma, now you need to go solve your equation for y. 
So again, you need to get rid of the 2 in your denominator, so multiply both sides by 2. And you'll have 2 plus y is equal to a negative 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, and you're going to end up with y equals negative 4. So there you go. That's the algebraic way. The fastest way is just kind of thinking about how you would get from A to M and do the same thing to get to B. So how would I get from 4 to 6? I would have to add 2. So if 6 is in the middle, then to get to B, I would just have to add 2 more. And 6 plus 2 is still going to give you 8. And then you would do the exact same thing for your y coordinates. To get from 2 to a negative 1, I would subtract 3. And to get from a negative 1 to the other y, I would subtract 3 more. And negative 1 minus 3 is still negative 4. That's probably the fastest way to do it. But if you want one more method using the coordinate plane, the first thing you would have to do is plot point A at 4, 2. And then you would have to plot your midpoint at 6, negative 1. And now just ask yourself, how do you get from A to M? And just do it one more time. So to get from A to M, you would have to go down 3, right 2. So you just have to go down 3 more, right 2 more. Check it out. You're still at 8, negative 4. So those are three different ways to do the same kind of problem. So why don't you go ahead and pause this video, give number four a try any way you would like. When you're ready, click play. We'll see if you got the right answer. So you had to go down three to get to negative five. So go down three more, and you get to a negative eight. And then to get from 10 to six, you have to go down four. Go down four more, and you would get to two. So the answer you should have for number four is negative eight comma two. If you got it right, good job. If not, hopefully that helps give you an idea of what you did wrong. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.